On what was one of the worst days of life, friends and coworkers showed Daniel Johnson they had his back. A fire destroyed the restaurant worker's home. Chris Davis shows us how his work family is really pitching in in a big way. As the band plays, You're the only one you know. and the orders come out, it's easy to forget a lot of the hard work happens after you're done eating. Daniel Johnson works five days a week cleaning up what's left, and he loves every minute of it. So I like wash dishes. Yet just a few days ago, he had more of a mess than he knew what to do with. Yeah, I was scared. Daniel was at home Thursday at his apartment in North St. Louis when a neighbor let him know the floor above him was on fire. He was only able to grab a few things he could carry. And he said, I grabbed some clothes, grabbed what I could, and I ran out. And the next thing I know, the fire trucks were pulling up. It was cold, and um, I had nowhere, like, had nothing. So he came to the only place he could think of to work on time. I was astonished. I was like, what are you doing here? I'm like, come on, Dan. Evangeline's owner says that's just Daniel. He's a really genuine, hardworking guy. So Don sent out an all call to his loyal customers and team members, just, hoping to raise enough money just to get Daniel back on his feet. We only asked for $1,000, and I think we got like 2000 so it was wow. really good. All that money came in in just 48 hours. Don says he wasn't surprised. It happened to anybody else here, he would go out of his way to help them too. He's just that kind of guy, you know. Daniel is still struggling to find a new place to live, but he's grateful his work family is stepping up to the plate. Right now I'm kind of suspicious. At this point, the restaurant feels like the best way to help Daniel is to just bring in different items that might be able to help him get back on his feet. So if you have anything that you'd like to bring in, you can just come up to the bar here or somewhere here in the restaurant. Give it to some employee. They'll make sure that it gets to Daniel. Chris, Daniel, he really sounds like a salt of the earth kind of guy. I'm sure people are going to want to help and bring those donated items. But is there anything in particular that he needs that he lost? It's really just the basic items that think we take for granted, like plates and napkins and, you know, and, and that type of thing, toiletries, just everything that we take for granted could really go a long way because he lost everything. Stuff for the kitchen and the bathroom. All right, Chris, thank you.